to our Illinois spot, and as you can see behind me, we've got a good amount of snow. And uh, for all the years I've been hunting here, I've never seen snow like this. You know if you've watched us enough that we're, we're more than accustomed to hunting in snow, so this should mean good deer movement, and uh, I think it's gonna be a really interesting weekend here for first gun in the state of Illinois. Sneak up in our bank's blind here, and I mean they're not even 80 yards away. We just get in the blind. She pops back out. Here he comes right behind her, 20 yards, and I just shot a big mature Illinois eight pointer. Unbelievable. Seriously, just want to take a minute and enjoy this. Like, there's so many fun things about hunting, but something that always stands out in my mind is I really love blood trail on the deer that you hit good, and it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, we're down here in Illinois in a great place. We get snow, a beautiful night like this, had a great opportunity on a great deer, make a good shot, and a great blood trail in the snow. He's right to a nice buck down there. These are these are the moments you really got to take a minute and really appreciate it because this is what it's all about. Well, it's November 15, 2018, and we are on the board here in Illinois. It's been a pretty tough season so far. Michigan hasn't had much going on, and we had a couple opportunities down here a couple weeks ago, and it didn't capitalize. And so we were coming back for the gun opener, which is tomorrow. But we thought, boy, you know, we still got a bow tag. If we could get down there in time, maybe we could get out bow hunting the night before gun season. So we got here, got our stuff around, headed out tonight. And as you saw, we had a pretty wild hunt, saw a couple bucks coming in fighting, and we got to our blind, and we were not in that blind two minutes, 
and this buck come right past us following the doe. You know, for once they read the script, 20 yards, she come through, came to full draw, he's slightly quartering away. The rage tripan did his job. And we followed the easy blood trail down here to this gully, and he is a nice, mature buck. And boy, you just, you really gotta take time to savor these moments. You think about it all year, and sometimes it goes by so fast, but you just couldn't ask for a prettier night. We got snow down here, nice lighting. I'm just so happy right now and just really gonna enjoy myself and take in this moment in this deer. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna hop right back in the saddle and we're gonna do some gun hunting. So that's just a great deer to take right on November 15th. It's November 16th, and that marks the opener of the 2018 Illinois first gun season. Yesterday we got it done on a bow buck, so that was exciting. And now today we're right back in the saddle with our gun. Uh, with this cold weather and recent little bit of snow we had, we figured uh, hunting over corn might be a good call, so we're hunting a mix of standing and cut corn. This is probably some of the best weather we've had in a while for opening day. Uh, light snow, cold temperatures, below freezing in the morning. Um, just a nice cool day, light west wind. Uh, really good conditions, I think, so I'm thinking the all-day sit hopefully will pay off today. Well, it's noon. Uh, we had a pretty busy morning, saw a lot of good action. We had a nice mature eight in here, real tall, and uh, didn't have a whole lot of time to judge him, and I couldn't make up my mind. And after looking at the footage replay, he was a pretty good deer, so I don't know if I'll end up regretting that or not, but we'll see what happens the rest of the afternoon. I still got a good feeling it's gonna be a really good day. We just shot two deer in 24 hours in Illinois. Yes, what an eight-pointer. All right, guys. Whew. All right, so we saw that buck this morning, late morning, he popped out. I misjudged him, I just saw he was an eight-pointer. We got a little footage of him, and then after looking at the footage, I'm like, that's that's a big deer. And I sent a couple pictures to Tyler and a couple of guys I had him on camera, and they're like, you gotta shoot that deer. And we said today, we're like, you know what? I've seen this before, but 
If you see him at a food source in the morning, it's usually a pretty good bet you're gonna see him back there that night. And he stepped out. I don't know what happened on the first shot. I'm guessing it was probably back. I can't really, I couldn't really tell. But he was hurting and he ran over here just about 20 yards and we finished him off right there and he is down. And we are done in Illinois for 2018. Boy, our early bow hunt was tough, but two deer, one yesterday, one today. We got us a double in Illinois and man, am I happy. Well, it's November 16th. That is the gun opener of Illinois in 2018 here. And we just got it done on the first night. Really a great deer. He's a, he's a big mature, basically an eight, good bases. He does have a split brow tine here, so technically a nine. But we actually saw this buck this morning and had to make a split second decision. And I just wasn't sure at the time. And then we watched the footage back. The consensus throughout the day is I made a mistake. I mean, this is, this is a mature buck. And we talked about the fact that a lot of times if you see him on food in the morning, there's a good chance you see him back on that food in the afternoon. And sure enough here, about 45 minutes before dark, he popped out in the corner and we got ready. He was cornering to us, so we took our time and waited for him to get broadside and made the shot. And the shot felt good. It looks like it was a couple inches back. But he, uh, he ran right this way, stopped about 20 yards from our blind, kind of hunched up. And we did another shot in the shoulder just to drop him and finish it off. But uh, Deer hunting seems almost impossible at times. And then all of a sudden within the 24 hour period, you can just get two deer when things are going right. So it really pays to stick it out because uh, sometimes that light switch just turns on and these bucks get moving and you just gotta be out there and ready. And it really paid off for us this year.